Over the years, I've made quite a few beautiful blingy centerpieces. So today I wanted to show you my top 10 centerpieces made using all Dollar Tree material and show you how you can create something beautiful for your home, your table, or your event for less. So here are a few step-by-step -step visual instructions for making some of your favorites. Here's number 10, my diamond and crystal black mercury glass candle stands. This was made using smoky Dollar Tree glassware, glass face, sea glass, clear beaded glass bracelets, diamond wrap ribbon, and Krylon looking glass silver spray paint. I'm using looking glass silver spray paint and vinegar and water to give each piece a mercury glass effect. To make two pieces, this effect will be done on six bowls for wine glasses and two vases. After spraying it with the silver spray paint and spritzing it with the vinegar and water, I blot it a little with a paper towel. I'm only doing this on the inside of the pieces and then I get this beautiful mercury glass effect. I'm also spraying a bag of those sea glass stones with that same mercury glass spray paint. After all the pieces are dry, I'm using Gorilla Clear Grip glue to glue the pieces together. For each stand, I'm gluing two bows together to make one circular piece that will go in the middle. For the bottom base, I'm taking one bow and putting it upside down and I'm gluing one wine glass on top of that. A wine glass will also go on top of the middle sphere piece. To hide the line between the bows, I'm attaching a silver sea glass. I'm placing a strand of diamond wrap around the rocks. I cut some glass bracelets to use the crystals to place around the piece. This makes the piece look like it's covered in beautiful crystal jewelry. I also place some pieces around the neck of the wine glass and some diamond wrap. I decorated both the bottom vase and the top part. Now I'm going to center and attach the two. And lastly, I'm placing my candle vase at the top. And also decorating that with sea glass, crystals, and diamond wrap. Now all that's needed now is some candles, a light, and I have these big, beautiful, giant, gothic candle stands. Number nine, shiny silver with gold sparkles candle holder set. To make this set, I'm using four glass Dollar Tree vase, 10 prep bowls, three glass candle dish, diamond wrap, clear acrylic gems, Krylon looking glass spray paint, and gold glitter spray paint. I'm going to start by gluing two prep bowls together. I'm using Gorilla Clear Grip Glue and I'm going to put that right around the rim and put two pieces together to make a sphere. And I'm going to make another one with two more prep bowls. I'm making three candle stands so I'm taking three more prep bowls and I'm gluing them to the center of three glass candle dishes. Now I'm going to take another prep bowl and put one of the spheres right on top of that, right in the middle. Then I'm gluing a glass face to another one. And then another glass face on top of the last prep bowl. After letting those pieces dry a bit, I'm taking a single sphere piece and I'm going to glue it to the top of this face. I want to be careful to make sure this piece is centered and that it is level. Then I'm gluing another vase on top of that, facing inward. Finally, one of my three candle dish prep bowl combinations will go right at the top and this will be my tallest piece. For my next tallest piece, I'm taking my sphere prep bowl combination and I'm going to glue a vase right on top of that. And then my second candle dish prep bowl combination right at the top. For my smallest piece, I just have a prep bowl, a vase, and then I'm gluing the 
purple candle dish combination on top of that. So now that I have my three side stands, it's time to make them a sparkly silver. Using my looking glass silver spray paint, I'm taking them outside and I'm giving them a light coat all the way around. Then I'm using this glittery gold spray paint and I'm gonna give it a really light touch all over. Now my pieces have a really translucent, sparkly, silver and gold look. If you like, you could also spray these with a protective coating. But right now I'm taking these inside and I'm gonna make them sparkle a little more with some clear gems. I'm using a dot of Gorilla Clear Grip glue and a dot of hot glue on each piece. I put gems all the way around to hide the seams where the glass pieces meet. And now I'm making a border around those glass gems with strands of diamond wrap. Now I have an elegant, beautiful antique silver glass candle stand set. Number eight, wedding chandelier centerpiece. To make this piece, I used a Dollar Tree silver tray an assortment of silk flowers, floral foam, silver beaded necklaces, and four flute glasses. I had this set already, but you can also find this at Dollar Tree. I'm using the Gorilla Glue Epoxy to glue two flute glasses face down to the silver tray. Now I'm gonna glue the remaining two glasses on top of the first two bottom to bottom. After that dries, I'm going to put glue on top of those two glass pieces and turn the whole thing upside down and glue it to the back of another silver tray. While the whole piece is drying, I'm going to work on my beaded pieces. I'm using utility wire. I started by cutting the strand so that it's open and then I folded it in half and cut it so that there are four beads longer on one of the pieces. So for the next strand that I cut, I want it to be four beads longer than the one before it. So while I'm cutting off the excess, I'm gonna put that at the top in a different section. So I'm gonna keep doing this so the bottom row gets longer and the top row gets shorter. I'm gonna keep doing this till I have nine strands at the bottom and seven strands at the top. Now I'm going to take about a 12 inch piece of wire and I'm going to start from the end and twist the end of the bead around the wire. I'm going to put each of them right next to each other going in order so that I have something that looks like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other end of those beads in the same order so that I have something that looks like a beaded necklace. And I'll do exactly the same thing to the group at the top. So I have a small beaded necklace and a large beaded necklace. And I'm doing two sets of each of these groups. Okay, now going back to my centerpiece stand, everything is dry now, and this is upside down, so I am drawing a cross right at the center of the tray at the bottom of the top of the tray. And I'm doing this to mark where I'm going to glue my beads. I'm starting with the longer strand. I'm using E6000 and some hot glue and I'm going to glue the beads in a curve around the front. One in on one side and one in on the other side. And I'm gluing the other set of the long strands on the opposite side of the piece. Next, I'm going to take one of the shorter strand necklace and I'm going to glue that right around the curve of the glass on one end. Then I'm gluing the other end of the short strands on the vertical line at the top right so that the shorter pieces are towards the bottom. Then I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing with the other shorter pieces on the other end. Now after the beads dry and I flip everything right side up, I have a pretty chandelier base. 
Now to add my flowers to the top, I cut a floral foam in half and glued it to the top of the tray. Now I'm going to arrange flowers on top of it by cutting stems and sticking them into the floral foam. I'm using some moss at the base to cover up the foam. I put a tap light at the bottom of the tray and cover that with some flowers. Added some lit faces around and now we have a beautiful centerpiece for a wedding or any event. Number seven, the sparkling event centerpiece. To make these pieces, I'm using Dollar Tree glass cylinders, candle holders, a round candle bowl, and a decorative glass bowl. I'm also using diamond wrap. I'm using large pieces of silver glitter, medium pieces of silver glitter, along with small and fine pieces of gold glitter. Using the Gorilla Epoxy Glue, I put together different formations of glass pieces and now I'm making some smaller side pieces by gluing two candlestick holders and one bowl on top. To give this an undertone, I'm painting the bowl with a metallic bronze. And after the paint is dry, I'm putting a thick coat of Mod Podge all over it. Inside a bowl, I mixed up all the different types of glitter, and now I am sprinkling a generous amount of glitter all around the bowl part of the piece. I also painted and coated the bottom part of the base. The tall centerpiece is made by gluing a cylinder on top of a candle dish, then a candlestick holder on top of that, another candlestick, and then another tall cylinder on top of that. I decorated the top, bottom, and center with diamond wrap. I'm also painting and sprinkling glitter at the bottom of this piece. I'm using this bowl to hold flowers at the top of the centerpiece, so I'm gonna paint this all the way around except the top center because I want to hot glue the bottom of a tap light right up here so that it shines through the cylinder and we'll be able to light up the whole piece. So I'm also blinging this bowl out with the sparkly glitter. I'm using fresh flowers to make an arrangement for my event. And I set that sparkly bowl of flowers on top of my cylinder with the tap light attached and on. And it created a really beautiful sparkly effect for my event. Number six colored mercury glass pieces. For this project, I'll be using and putting together an assortment of Dollar Tree glass pieces and other glass pieces. I'll be using a Krylon Silver Looking Glass spray paint, a spray bottle with a mixture of equal parts vinegar and water, Krylon stained glass spray paint, and a sponge. I'm making pretty candle holders to go around my home, but you could easily make a centerpiece out of this. I use Gorilla Glue Epoxy to put glass pieces together to make different candle stands and candle bolts. In one of the last projects, I showed you how I made the smoky color dishes into mercury glass pieces, but this time I'm going to show you how you could do this in color. I'm using the same looking glass silver spray paint, and I'm spraying all around the inside of the glass pieces with a silver spray paint. When you spray it inside the pieces, it'll make a puddle. So you wanna swish it around to cover the whole inside. Then you're gonna use a spray bottle with a mixture of half vinegar and half water. And you're gonna just spritz around in the inside. The vinegar mixture will cause a reaction and it'll bubble up, leaving this nice texture. That gives it that mercury glass look. You want to make sure you wipe in the outside of the glass, anything that's spilled, because you want that part to be clean. And then you can turn it over and just let the excess drip out. So now I'm going to spray the inside of the other side of this piece and do the same process. And now I have that nice silver mercury glass look. 
If you want, you could blot the inside with a sponge, but I think this looks pretty good. I'm gonna let this dry. But first I'm gonna spray paint the stem just to make that a little more silver also. Now instead of silver, I want this to be more of a bronzy color. So I am using this Krylon stained glass spray paint and I'm spraying only on the outside of this piece because the inside I have my mercury glass effect. And I'm spraying a little bit of blue and then I'm gonna spray mostly orange over it. This will give me a nice golden brown color that will look more like bronze or gold. Now just so you can see what it looks like with that stained glass spray paint only, this is what it looks like. It's a nice translucent color. It does a great job. Um, I sprayed these first on the outside and now I'm gonna make a few of them mercury glass effect by spraying the inside with the silver looking glass and then spritzing it with the vinegar and water mixture. And look how beautiful that is. When you're doing the centerpiece you can make it match whatever decor you want and still have that mercury glass look. I'm going to spritz a little bit of silver on the stems on the outside. Now this piece here I used a blue and orange and gave it this nice beautiful champagne bronzy color. But with this one I'm going to do something different. Instead of giving it that mercury glass look on the inside, I'm going to do an effect on the outside. I'm going to spray the silver looking glass on the outside over the stained glass paint just a little bit. And I'll use this sea sponge to blot it and see what that looks like. So that'll give you a different texture, sort of frosted look. So this is the difference between spraying the silver looking glass and the stained glass on the outside. You get a more dull look, but the inside is shiny. But if you do the silver looking glass on the inside and then the stained glass on the outside, this is what you would get. Just remember when you are spray painting these pieces, these are for decorative use only. So you can't drink out of them and you can't wash them. Also use a Voltic candle inside each of these so that you won't ruin the effect. But with this process, you can make a very beautiful colored mercury glass centerpiece display. Number five, the crystal candle centerpiece display. For this project from Dollar Tree, I'm using a framed mirror, different size tea candle stands, clear acrylic gems, diamond wrap, and round glass tea candle holders. To make three different size tea candle stands, I'm gluing together a few different combinations of pieces. I'm using E6000 glue. For the smallest piece, I'm putting two of the shortest glass tea candle stands together. Next, I'm putting a medium and a small piece together. Then I'm putting a medium and a large piece together. Now next, I wanna create a mirrored crystal base. So I'm using this round mirror and I'm just going to glue with the E6000 some crystals all the way around. I'm using a drop of E6000 and a drop of hot glue on each piece and I'm going to glue them down right at the edge at this angle facing inward all the way around. Then I'm going to glue another row right on the outside of those pieces, right in between and right behind the first row. But I will be skipping every other space to make something that looks like a three cluster crystal design.
for the tea candle displays. I'm also going to add some crystals and make different designs for each one. This one, I'll add crystals all the way up the center, all the way around, and around the top and the bottom. And I'm adding some diamond wrap in between some of the spaces, just a strand. For one of the pieces, I felt like it needed a little more height. So at the base, I'm adding this round glass tea candle holder. And for this one, I decorated it with crystals all the way up the center. Also crystals around the area where I added the base and diamond wrap. For the smallest one, I made the design a little more elegant by just adding crystals in certain sections. Now I have this very beautiful and elegant crystal candle centerpiece displayed on a crystal mirror base. Number four, the Dollar Tree Holiday Centerpiece. For this project, I'm using a wine glass, three glass cylinders, one a little longer for the center piece, and two glass tea candle stands. To attach these, you could use Gorilla Glue or E6000, but I attached a wine glass to the bottom of the tallest cylinder and the two tea candle stands to the bottom of the other two cylinders. I'm also using Dollar Tree silver ornaments for this piece, so after it's dry, I'm going to turn these upside down and fill the cylinders with Christmas bulbs. Then I'm adding a round floral foam. It fits just perfectly at the top of the center piece. And I'll use that to insert my Dollar Tree flowers to make a Christmas floral arrangement. I cut each stem and I'm using white flowers and berries and sprays and I'm arranging them so they cascade down and are full at the top. And I'm adding some drama and some height with these floral stems at the top and a few holiday silver branches. I also added a few pine cones that I spray painted green and stuck on the stems that I cut. These pine cones I found in my backyard. But sometimes during the holidays you can find pine cones at Dollar Tree also. But look at the beautiful Christmas display you can make for your table just by putting a few pieces together. Number three, decorative glass candle holders. For this project, I'm using seven glass candlestick holders, one smaller candlestick holder, three large candle bowls, and I'm using five bags of these colored gems. All of this from the Dollar Tree and it'll be enough to make three different size glass candle holders. For my smallest size, I'll be gluing two candlestick holders together like this and then a bowl on top. For the medium size, I'm using a candlestick holder, a smaller candlestick holder, a candlestick holder on top of that, and then a bowl. And for the largest, it'll be three candlestick holders stacked like this and then a bowl on top. I used Gorilla Glue Epoxy to put all the glass pieces together and made sure everything is leveled and centered. And after all the pieces are bonded together and completely dry, I'm going to clean the bowl really well with some alcohol so that I can start decorating it with the gems. Now I found that hot glue is not the best way to attach to gem. So what you should do is use a drop of E6000 or Gorilla Clear Grip glue and also a drop of hot glue on each gem when you're attaching them. The E6000 or the Gorilla Glue will help keep the gem on permanently and the hot glue will keep it in place while the wet glue dries. So I'm starting at the very top and I'm alternating the colors and going all the way around. Now at the end here, I got to a section where two gems won't fit. So what I'm going to do is find a large gem and center it in between the space. And I just went row by row all the way around to the bottom. 
and there it is just that easy you have three big beautiful candle holders ready to light up your home number two mirrored mosaic vases for this project i'll be using dollar tree frame mirrors a light flexible material i'm using trouser socks here i'm using mod podge and pre-mixed grout and again for this piece i'm gluing together a few dollar tree glass items with some gorilla clear brick glue i'm going to start by taking the mirror out of the frame turning it upside down and I am going to coat it with Mod Podge. I'm going to give it a really thick coat and then I'm going to cover the back with a sheer material. I'm using this flexible material, stocking material I cut open and I am basically gluing this on the back of my mirror. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to create a cracked mirror sheet. So I'm putting a backing on it so that I could crack it and actually have the pieces stay together. And that'll make it a little bit easier for me to attach it to the mirror without having to pick up all the pieces. So after that completely dry, I placed the mirror inside a baggie. And now I'm using a hammer to crack the mirror and I'm gently tapping it so that it breaks into a bunch of little pieces but it will still be attached to the material. And this is what it looks like after I take it out of the baggie. You want to make sure also that you wear gloves and goggles when you're doing this. Now I'm going to use a big paintbrush to brush off all the shards. And as you can see, I can almost wrap it around the glass piece. But I decided to cut these in sections to make it easier to place on the piece. This Dollar Tree frame mirror works great because it's very thin and I can literally cut through the mirror with scissors while still keeping it on the backing. I'm using Gorilla Glue to glue the pieces onto the glass but you could use towel glue or some sort of strong glue. But as you can see, it makes it a lot easier rather than picking up individual pieces to put them on. And here I created a fun design for this piece. I'm gonna make a few different pieces, try out different color grouts. This one I'm using a red grout. To apply the grout, you want to put it on with a spatula to get it into the cracks and get the surface as smooth as possible. I'm working in sections, so after I put on a section, I'm wiping it down a little so that there's a haze over it. I don't want it to be too thick because it starts to dry pretty quickly. So before I go to the next section, I'm gonna wipe it down just a little bit and make sure there's a pretty smooth transition of grout all the way around, especially around the edges. After applying and smoothing the grout all the way around, you wanna let that dry for about 15 minutes, and then you're gonna go back with a wet cloth and then a dry cloth and really clean the pieces. This is one I did with white grout. I'm also going in with a little spatula to get the grout and glue off of the pieces to really clean it nicely. And finally, I use some Windex to shine it up and make it really sparkly. And this is the white grouted one attached to some candlestick holders to make a nice candle stand. This is how it looks with the red grout, and this is with black grout. Now, if you don't wanna use grout and go through the messy um, part of doing this and dealing with glass, here's another way I did a mirror mosaic. Um, I'm putting two pieces together again, and I'm painting the base of this vase black. Then I'm cutting up little pieces of 
sequins and by spreading on some clear Gorilla Glue, I'm dropping the pieces down and then pushing them into place. Now this does take a while, but it's not as messy and you get really beautiful results. It looks like this. And it is very similar to a real mosaic piece that I love. By the way, you could also make these little pieces by cutting up this little Dollar Tree happy birthday sign. So now you have a few mirror mosaic techniques to add to your centerpiece collection. And finally, number one, one of my most popular videos, the wedding bling centerpieces. For this project, I'm using five tall glass cylinder vases and two medium sized vases, four glass candlestick holders, one large round glass bowl, one decorative glass bowl, two bags of clear glass gems, two small round tea candle holders, one round glass candle dish, three to four rows of diamond wrap ribbon, and I'm using about six bouquets of white roses and two bouquets of lilies. Okay, so let's start by arranging our pieces. I like my center pieces to be in sets of three. So let's start by setting up the configuration. For the smallest size, I'll have a medium sized cylinder at the bottom, then a candlestick holder, and then another medium sized cylinder at the top. For the tallest piece, this middle piece, I have a large cylinder at the bottom, two candlestick holders in the middle, and another large cylinder at the top. The medium sized one on the right, I have a tall cylinder at the bottom, a candlestick holder in the center, and another large cylinder at the top. Now that I know my configuration, I'm going to use Gorilla Glue Epoxy to put all the pieces together. I also want to make a couple of pieces to go on top of the largest piece. So I am gluing this small tea candle holder on top of this decorative bowl. And this bowl I'm going to use for my flowers. I'm doing the same with this round glass bowl. I'm going to use this one as a decorative piece for a candle. Now I'm going to let all the pieces I glue sit and dry for about an hour. And as you can see, the reason I put the round piece at the bottom is so that it can sit perfectly inside the top cylinder. And I'll be able to interchange these depending on if I wanted flowers at the top for the centerpiece or a candle at the top. Now I'm going to start decorating these vases with diamond wrap. I'm using E6000 and a little bit of hot glue to put diamond wrap around the edges, around the center, and at the top. Just to give this tallest piece a little extra support so it won't tip over, I'm going to attach it to a candle dish. Next, I want to decorate this large round bowl, make it a little more blingy. For this, I'm using a drop of hot glue and a drop of E6000 to glue clear glass gems all the way around the piece. If you want, in between each space of the gems, you can pipe some E6000 glue to help keep those gems on permanently. And you want to leave one row of space right at the bottom so that this would fit nicely on top of the cylinder. The glass gems on this ball was looking a little bit on the green side, so I took it outside and gave it just a touch of silver looking glass spray paint. That touch of silver helped it go along with the rest of the pieces. Next, I'm going to do a floral arrangement inside this bowl using the white roses. And this will be my other centerpiece option. Now I want to decorate the inside of the top of the cylinders with these white lilies. I'm cutting the stems at about five inches and I'm going to stick the lilies inside the cylinder upside down. 
and I'll just bend the stems a little so that it hangs right below the diamond wrap and the stem will wrap around the side where the diamond wrap is so that you can't see it but it'll just kind of hold it in place there now I'm going to fill that cylinder up with water just to where it meets the diamond wrap and then right up at the top you can float some tea candles you can put a Volta candle in your big decorative ball and you can create different configurations for your wedding table the flowers at the top or the ball at the top different arrangements and you can make something really beautiful for your wedding so there you have it my top 10 bling centerpieces all made with Dollar Tree pieces all for a very little money and all very beautiful hey guys check out my Etsy store I just added new products from this show with free shipping and for just a few dollars you can get instant digital downloads of full color step-by-step -step instructions with templates for some of your favorite projects and check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my multi-surface acrylic metallic paint back in stock with eight beautiful shimmering colors you can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects and while you're there pick up my book of elegant home crafts volume one with all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book on my Amazon page you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show and you can add them all to your cart for the one click fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.